All right, in this tutorial, we're going to take this spider and put it on this girl's face. And uh, here we go. Let's start by cutting out the spider, um, which there's a lot of depth of field here, which will make it interesting. First, let's make a copy. And let's start with focus area. See how good of a job that does. And there you go. It's getting the front of the spider. Let's get this part two, this leg, this leg, ah, not that, not this, and we do want this, do want that, and let's see if it's smart enough to, we do want this part, and we do want that. Okay, well that's relatively good for that. Now I'm going to go to Select and Mask, turn on the Smart Radius here, and then use this tool, the Refine Edge Brush, and just kind of paint over these edges here and here. Be nice to get those hairs. And these here as well. All right. Let's see what we got. Good. So let's go ahead and just add a layer here. We're going to fill that layer with a color that is very different from the spider. Okay, so we can see what we have here. We can also go into the mask and just by hand clean up uh, any parts that should be in the mask. So let's go ahead and do that. There you go, there you go. Good. And <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down a bit. So I can see the spider behind here and actually now I may want the foreground of the spider separate from the background. So I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this. And then in this one, I'm going to go ahead and paint the back of the spider in here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that pretty rough. And I have a soft brush. Um, so that I kind of retain this depth of field that the spider already has here. I can also adjust as I go the size of the brush based on what I'm trying to get here. It goes very out of focus back there. And let's just see how that looks. That's pretty good. Between these two layers, we should have a pretty well cut out spider. Good. All right, let's take this and transfer it over to our pretty girl. And let's make him smaller. And voila. So now to make this a little more convincing, we're going to... Yeah, you see, that's nice. Good. So let's cut her out of her background to um, our quick selection tool should work pretty well here. And it did. Perfect. Always use this refine edge just to clean up our selection. And voila. I'm going to make a mask. I'm holding down option as I click this because I want that part to be hidden so I can put the back of the spider behind her and that's the reason I did two layers on that spider there you go now we want to add some shadows so we're going to select that and let's pick our shadow color from where she has shadow on her so that's good color there 
And let's adjust like so. Kind of fit her contours there. Pull the back of the shadow back like this. Put that on multiply. And let's adjust. I'm also going to use a big brush and just mask out kind of where light is going to seep in. So anywhere the spider is a bit further away from her. I'm actually going to make that shadow black. Yeah. Undecided there. All right, let's see. Maybe we just take the saturation down a bit. Good. Then we're going to add some ambient shadow, meaning shadow that's not very hard. It's just kind of affecting the general area there. Voila. Now the problem is this shadow is just too black. So let's put those together. First, I'm going to make it a selection, and let's see if we can just use a curves layer to create our shadows. That might be a bit nicer, because then we're essentially making her skin darker. That's pretty nice, but we still need like a real black shadow under here, right there. That's pretty nice. Now, the problem is the depth of field on this just doesn't make sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply this mask. And I am going to take this leg and make a copy of that with Command-J and put it here. That's pretty good. Let's delete the leg that's under there. And on this leg, I want to delete this extra little bit there. That looks nice. That looks nice. Good. Good, good, good. It's starting to look a little scary. Another thing we can do to get rid of this kind of light fuzz is make a copy of this, put it on multiply. Ooh, that's pretty nice already. But then what we're going to do is, in this guy, add a layer, group it, and then just paint with white where, where it shouldn't be so dark. So there, maybe the tops of the legs, and where it intersects here. But we do want it dark there, so we kind of almost want it black there. No, not black, sorry. But we do want those edges nice and dark. So let's put a mask there. Make our brush a bit smaller. Yeah, that's nice. All right, that looks pretty creepy. And finally, excuse my nose. Let's just to make everything feel like it belongs. Let's add a photo filter on top of everything. Just to give this a little more scary of an effect. Yeah, I don't like that. All right, let's get rid of that and let's do it with a color balance. And let's go into the shadows and add some cyan and some blue. Ooh, that's nice. And do the same in the mid-tones. All right, then let's group everything that makes up our spider. That way we can do some general cleanup, like getting rid of this, whatever that is. Still there a little bit for some reason. Ah, uh, that guy should be in there. There you go. All right, she should be freaking out. 
Now you see how this is uh, applying pretty heavily in the shadow areas? Let's see if we can fix that. We're going to go in here. Ah, that looks terrible. And that looks terrible. All right. Let's do this then. <coughs> in our shadows. Let's just take some of that blue out and then maybe add a curve that just brings up the sh bottom shadows a little bit. There you go. Basic comp completed. Alright, I hope you learned something. There you have it.